Hello everybody, welcome. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at one of my most recent purchases, which is an electric bike, otherwise known as the Trillium Rad Runner e-bike. But before we get into the video, I just wanna give a big thank you to my parents who helped me purchase the bike as well as go and get it. As well as we're gonna also go through some of the features that it has we're going to be doing also a test drive walk around talk a little bit about it and how i got the bike without further ado let's get right into this video So again, as I as I said earlier in the beginning of the video, this is the Trillium Rad Runner e-bike. I uh, purchased this on myself with a little bit of help of my parents, who also went and got got it for me in Tweed, Ontario. For some of those that know a bit about this bike, or who has a shop in your area or is lives near Tweed, Ontario. You guys go, should go check this out. I highly re recommend this bike. It is like the best thing you'll ever have and it's a lot of fun. So let's get right into the features on this bike. So as you can see, it comes with the key. This is what the key looks like. And the rest is just stuff that I just added to it. So this is the key that comes with the bike. Now, when you do purchase a bike like this, it comes with two keys. One's a spare and one's the actual key. They're the same. You just choose the key you want to put in it and keep the rest or keep the spare in a safe place so you don't lose it. So to turn it on, you flip the switch on to the right position once, which is now on. Now, you, as you can see, there is this little diagram, electronic diagram here. To turn the, the full thing on, press the uh, bu M button, hold it for a few seconds, and as you can see, it's now on. So here is your battery percentage. Now I've used it quite a bit, so it's gonna slow, it's gonna say full battery, but after going for a few seconds, it's gonna go down to about two or three bars because I've used it and I haven't really charged it since. So just bear, keep that in mind. There is your speedometer. And this is also equipped electronic gears. So the maximum gear that the system will do is about number nine. And this thing will do about 40 kilometers an hour maximum. And as you can see, that's how much kilometers I put on it since I purchased the bike. And if you click a couple of times, it tells you to trip the time on it on the bike and then I don't know what the rest, the rest does <laughs> some of the attachments that I bought or an another term for it is purchased for this bike is a mirror obviously the GoPro system I have that for a long time I figured I add this for the video so you guys don't need to look at that I added a water bottle holder and I bought a brand new water bottle for it. And I have a saddle bag to put on the back of this bike, but that's coming in time. As you can see, I have a tripod and a couple bunch of cords holding in place. That's just something I threw on there just for this video. You guys don't need to pay attention to that. But hopefully when my saddle bag comes in, I don't really have to do any of this type of thing anymore. The only thing I would have to do is find a place to mount this, which probably no problem at all. A really cool feature that this bike has, it, it, it is foldable, so the pedals, I'm not gonna really touch it, but the pedals do fold about half an angle as well as the other side. 
and the front end, the steering and the half of this bike does fold, but I do strongly recommend not to fold it and the company that you guys do choose to buy this bike from that also does strongly recommend not to fold it every time you, you want to use use it or do take them on your travels unless you really 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 have to because over time there are wires that hold this in place and over time after folding so much it will wear and tear and eventually break and you will not be able to secure this in place also here is the battery that comes with the bike now you're only equipped with one battery you do not get a spare which is sucks but you know what it is what it is so again like i said there's the key this is where the key goes in stick the key in turn it on to the on position and then you do your thing like i showed you before but to take the battery out you gotta pop the seat off make sure you don't lose this uh, seat seat lock in a uh, thing I, don't, I can't get the words out make sure you do not lose it you pop the uh, seat out take the clip thin off and then all you got to do is turn your key sorry about that guys I do apologize in advance somebody came up here and there was a dog and, and there he's whistling and stuff and I had to pause the video right there anyways back to what I was saying in order to get the battery out, you're gonna need your key. Before you do that, what you gotta do is take the seat secure, whatever you wanna call it. I don't know the proper term for it. I'm just gonna call it the seat security key. So you're gonna take the seat security and unlock it, which I'm not gonna fully do. Just you guys pretty much know what an ordinary bike does to it with the seat. Pop the security key off. Then, the, then pop the seat out, and then what you gotta do is pop the security key system out. Then you take your key, instead of don't turn on the on position, so what you gotta do is make sure it's on the off position. So when it's in the off position, you push, and then you turn it, and then at the same time, then you take your battery out. And then, you, and then the charging system port which is located on your right side. Slide that little cover off. Well, don't slide it off, but slide to uh, a side. And there is the charging port. Now, I do not have the charging thing with me, but I will eventually show you guys a picture of what it looks like and I'll add it to the video. Now, when you install the battery back into place, you make sure it's facing the same way as it's the way you got it out. Now, in order to put it back in, what you gotta do is when you're inserting the battery in, make sure it's in the lock unlock position. Push as, like I showed you before, when it's on the off position, you turn it, you push and turn to the unlock position, and then it should let you insert the battery. And then you twist the key to make sure it's off the off position, make sure the key's out, and then put it back in if you guys wish to do so. Then all you gotta do is put your seat back in. But first, make sure you put your security your seat security key back in. Make sure it's in the right position, and then you insert your seat back in and put it the way you wish. This bike is also equipped with a bell. I know it sounds childish and stupid, but you know what? It's for safety reasons. I don't use it normally myself, but you guys can if you do choose to do so this is, this bike is also equipped with manual shift ability but you guys don't need to really mess with that you guys only really need to mess with that as um, if your battery goes fully dead and you're unable to use the electronic system that's where the manual shift ability comes in because when the battery goes dead you won't be able to use the electronic gear system which I could not get the words out. Again, I apologize again in advance. You guys do not really need to use the throttle all the time. Uh, they strongly recommend not to use the throttle like a dirt bike 24 seven. Otherwise it'll wear down your battery life. But you're allowed to use it every now and then. But if you do decide to take a highway drive or a long period of time pedaling this bike, they do recommend to use it. But I know, it's kind of confusing, 
I'm only saying what I know about this bike, blah, blah, blah. Anyways. I'll talk more about the throttle later in the video. I'll be doing a test drive and I'll be showing you guys what this bike is all about. This bike is equipped with two disc brakes, one in the back as well, one in the front. And what I also didn't show you guys is it does also have a rack, as you can see. Most e-bikes or RAV runners, as whatever you want to call them, are all equipped with the back racks. Some of them are equipped uh, or a bit longer and equipped with uh, also a back rack, which gives you the ability to put an actual back seat on it so you can also carry a passenger. But I don't know uh, if I this model does have that option, but you know what? If you guys want to learn more about this bike, you guys can search it up on the internet. You'll learn all kinds of stuff about this. This is also equipped with the LED light in the front as well, I don't believe in the back, which I'll show you guys in just a sec. Oh, I have to have the fan fully on. LED in the front. Can't really see it because it's during the day still. As well as one in the back. You guys can see. Here is where the the fold and security key is, is what I would call it. I don't know if there's a proper or typical term for it, but you guys could say whatever you want in the comments down below. There is the security key to be able to fold a bike the way you guys want it, but I don't really know how else to put it. And then the secure back into place as it's displayed as we speak is obviously pushed to the side against the frame. There is the chain, nothing special about the chain. There is a special chain to, I, I think there's a special chain for this. They recommend not to oil this. There is a special oil to go and buy and use for this bike and went oil it every now and then. I'm not too sure exactly what type of, type of oil to, to be put on this bike, but if I do know the oil, I'll also put it in the comments down below or in the description of this video. What I also didn't show you guys is the, another attachment I did add added to this bike is a bicycle lock and then the holder for it, which is kind of super neat. And another thing that I just noticed now, LOL, <laughs> is another security key to be able to fold down the steering. Obviously you guys know how a security key works when folding a, a scooter, steering thing, whatever you guys want to call it. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, final, final uh, thing on this bike is the tires on this. Uh, these are what the tires look like. There's the shred on them. If you guys know the size, and the width of the tire, blah, 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 whatever you want to call it. Please leave a comments down in the video below, I guess, or however you want to put it. Yeah, leave, leave a comment down below if you guys wish to do so. See if you could guess the size of the tire on this bike and the brand name of the tire on this bike. Now I'll just give you guys a quick rock, walk around so you guys can take a look and you guys can see for yourself. Alrighty guys, now it is time for the test drive part of the video. Without further ado, let's get into it. 